Bub's blog. Good morning, everybody. It's uh, the first version of Bob's blog for 2017. I'm Bob Babish, the entertainment director of Summerfest, and I'm glad to be back to my blog. I've missed it. It's been about a year or so, so we want to get right back in the saddle again. It's good to be back. Um, it's an exciting time for Summerfest this year. It's our 50th Summerfest. Seems like only yesterday when we started these things out, but it's uh, going to be a great year and a great year for everybody to come on down and have a good time. Um, we also have some other exciting things going on. We're building, of course, the new Miller Oasis, which is being built right now. U.S. Cellular being built last year at, or next year. And of course, we just announced our relationship with American Family Insurance, which is going to be wonderful. Um, we're going to have a new amphitheater in a few years, and we'll give you more information on that as, as it comes closer. So it's going to be a good time. But what we do here is we try to answer some questions that you have about the music business, who's playing, who's, com who's coming to town, who's not coming to town, why are they not coming to town, and just various other questions about the music business. So we're going to continue doing this for the rest of the, the year, so please send things to us, send in from, uh, questions to us so we can uh, get back to you on these. First question of the day, when will the full Summerfest lineup be announced? We usually try to do that sometime in early April, sometimes late March, but it's usually early April, so stay tuned to our socials, stay tuned to websites, stay tuned all over the place and we'll let you know as soon as we're planning on doing that announcement. We try to do that as soon as we get all the Summerfest ground stages booked. So that'll be coming up soon. Uh, next question. How much negotiating or back and forth to actually book a band? Good question. This starts really early for us. For Summerfest amphitheater shows, we're booking the year before. So while you're coming to Summerfest 2017, we'll be working on Summerfest 2018. I believe last year we had four acts on hold in the amphitheater during Summerfest 16 itself. So it's an early process. Bands want to plan out early. They're planning out their year, when they're going to release product, if they're going to Europe, if they're going to play major festivals, how do they want to tour. So we want to be a part of that early on. And it's an ongoing process. A band decides whether they want to work during our time. We have to figure out how much the ticket prices are, how much the band is going to get paid, how the announcement happens. It's a long process. And we do that with not just the amphitheater, but also with all the grounds acts. It's a very, very long process to try to get it organized. We can't get the daytime acts done on other stages, non-amphitheater stages, until the headliners are done, so it all kind of flows nice from noon on. So it's an ongoing process, and we try very hard to bring the best talent that we can to you, our customers. Um, any details on the upcoming updated amphitheater? Well, that's going to be coming down the road. The planning process is just starting. The design process is just starting. So we'll be giving you some of that information as it comes. But I can tell you right now, it's going to be a very, very exciting project. And we all are very excited here at Summerfest about it. So let's talk about a couple of bands that are out there. You asked about a couple of them. And we'll uh, throw some things out to you. Lady Gaga. Is Lady Gaga coming to Summerfest? Sadly, no. She's going to be on the Super Bowl coming up. But we're going to miss her this year as she is going to be starting to work a little later, I believe, but not during Summerfest, I'm sorry to say. Aerosmith. Aerosmith is going to be touring the United States next year, I believe, but not this year. So once again, I'm sorry to say that we're not going to be able to do uh, Aerosmith this year for you. Um, oh, that was playing Summerfest this year, so... Can't talk about that one right now, but uh, stay tuned. It's coming up, coming up quickly. Bruno Mars. We'd love to have Bruno Mars back. If you remember, he was here a few years ago. It was a spectacular show, but we're going to miss Bruno this year because he's not going to start working in the States till July 15th, so that's too bad, but uh, we'll get him next time for you. Uh, one more here we can do. Nathaniel Ratelift. Nathaniel Ratelift is another new act that's been around for a couple years now bubbling up pretty quick and uh, we're not going to get a chance to play the amphitheater this year, I mean Summerfest this year, because he's not going to be working in the States during our time period, sad to say, but we're going to get him also next time, hopefully. But we have a lot of great shows already announced. You know, don't forget, you've got the Red Hot Chili Peppers on 28. You've got Pink uh, on July 2. You've got uh, Zach Brown on July 1. You've got Tom Petty and Chris Stapleton on the 5th and 6th of July. So it's going to be a great year. Bob's Blog signing off. Till next time. Thanks.